Parents and students say the violence has to stop after a teen was shot outside Andrew Jackson High School. We brought you the breaking details at this time yesterday as the situation unfolded. I didn't like it at all. Um, you know, you don't ever want your child along with other people's children to fear for them lives while they're trying to go get an education. The 17 year old injured in the shooting is expected to be okay. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel is live outside the school. Corley, what was it like there today? Mary, a lot of students who came to school today tell me that their classrooms were not full and there was a lot of security. You can also see the Crime Stopper sign that is now outside by the sidewalk where that teen was shot. And parents say this should not be happening near a place where students learn. School looked different on Thursday for Andrew Jackson High School students. They was checking the bags more thoroughly. There was police everywhere. The heightened security came after police say a 17 year old was shot during a drive by shooting on Wednesday. Detectives say someone shot him while walking on the sidewalk during dismissal. Police say he ran inside of a school and someone called 911. The student man, he was shot um, outside the school and they brought him in the front office. It's the one who shot him still nearby. I have no idea. Where was your son at the time of the shooting? Uh, getting picked up by my wife. He was walking in, walking, getting into the car when it shot. So I think he thought it came from the gym area. Some parents chose to keep their students home on Thursday. One parent says he felt safe sending his son to school and kept in touch with him throughout the day. I, I sent him a text and asked him what the vibe was, and he said uh, it was pretty cool. Not a lot of children are here. The teen's friends are grateful he's expected to be okay. You know, what would you want him to know? What I would want him to know is that we waiting on him and I hope he's okay. Students feel Andrew Jackson High School will never be the same. A lot of people in this community tell me that they are fed up with the violence and I'm told that Cure Violence will be meeting outside the school tomorrow at 3 p.m. to bring awareness. As of right now, no arrests have been made. So if you have any information about this shooting, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers or JSO. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.